Hi, I'm Alex Dutchbury and welcome to Art Class. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the range of benefits that can be had if you take art at GCC and A-level. Later I'll be talking about all of the different creative career paths that you can go into, but first I want to start with an article that was in the paper last year from a leading surgeon talking about the necessity of kinesthetic skills that can be learnt in a creative environment. Roger Nebohm, Professor of Surgical Education at Imperial College London, says that young people have so little experience of craft skills now that they struggle with anything practical. He went on to say that the decline in manual dexterity of students over the past decade has caused a real problem. He went on to conclude that actually taking artistic subjects improved their kinesthetic skills and learning and so they were much more likely to be successful going into these specialist areas of medicine later on in their careers. Creative thinking, manual dexterity and observational abilities are just three skills acquired in art that can play a supportive role in other careers, for example dentistry. Amir, an ex-student who now studies dentistry at university, said, having studied art I built a strong level of attention to detail and my manual dexterity improved vastly both qualities that an aspiring medical or dental student would need. So as you can see, creative hands-on skills can be really helpful if you want to get into the medical profession. In fact, there was one pupil from a couple of years ago who I had the pleasure of teaching who went on to study medicine and he had a particularly interesting story in what he was able to do within his A-level project. Have a look at his case study. Caballan always wanted to do medicine and he took art alongside his science subjects at A-level. For his coursework project, he developed a project which focused completely on medicine, and he used it to explore physical and psychological conditions. He linked it to his work experience in hospital placements, both in England and India, and compared and contrasted how people were dealt with in different places. He also linked to historical research and looked at Henry Tonks. His pictures in the bottom left-hand corner a nod towards Henry Tonks, the military surgeon who became a war artist when depicting initial early stage skin grafts. He took his portfolio to his medical interviews and they were thoroughly impressed with his range of research and also his visualisation of all of his knowledge that he had learnt and actually was a great icebreaker and placed him apart and above some of the other students because he was able to talk around his artwork at the interview. No surprise, he's gone on to do medicine now. He's just one of many students who have been fascinated by and looked into the properties of modern day science and how technical developments have helped and supported with the progression of healing people. Linking that with interests in things like sci-fi and it's no surprise that the whole bionic man idea and the aging process has been such a fun and engaging subject matter for A-level students and even GCSE pupils to get into. Ultimately, if you want to get into a successful and high attaining course, you need to be passionate about your subjects and get your highest marks. Universities, even if they're going for medicine or other science degrees, will be looking for, yes, one or two key subjects that you're studying at A-level, which directly link to their subjects. But the third or even a fourth choice option is very much up to you. As long as you can nail an A or A star, that's all they're going to be looking for. And that will give you the highest level of UCAS points to get onto that course. So pick something you're passionate about, something you know you're going to enjoy and maybe balances well with your other A-level subjects. So if art is something that you're already very skilled at and can be directly linked to and manipulated to support your further studies, that's something to go for. As another example, architecture is another subject that lots of pupils like to go on and progress with and I've again had the pleasure of teaching several pupils in recent years who have gone on to study at top places like the Bartlett School of Architecture. If you're good at maths and physics and you've got some good draftsman skills this could be another great career choice for you. 
There's a range of different areas linking to architecture that you could go into from industrial design and engineering to actual building concept design at fantastic agencies potentially like Norman Foster's and Co. Art or engineering for architecture? That's often been a key question that parents have asked in the past. And actually, what I would refer you to is the Bartlett School of Architecture at UCL's requirements. And they're looking for fine art skills, people with creative ideas and imagination. And architectural schools will be looking for these requirements when you pre present a portfolio of artwork at an interview. So they don't need you to know lots of computer programs at this stage. They will teach you the most up-to-date ones when you get on the course. So don't worry about that. It's the ideas and the creative process that they're most looking for at this stage. Something that we touch upon in GCSE courses with these clay sculptures and design models. Now I'm going to go on and show you a few other popular courses and career choices that a lot of my students have progressed on to in the past. So video game design is a really popular option now. If you're good at IT, you could go into something like that or animation and use both those skills and your artistic skills. If you're good at modeling and your spatial visualization, film and special effects is another key area. And a lot of pupils now use digital properties like Photoshop, and drawing tablets to create great work for their art projects as seen with some of these examples here. Another great subject can be advertising, again using that technical skill for layering or photography, going into scientific and crime photography, media journalism. Or how about fashion design? It's a key area which a lot of people can use their artistic skills and their interests and passions to link together. So there were just a small selection of the different creative paths that you can go into. And it's worth noting that things like the film industry, computer games, they're massive businesses now. In fact, the computer game industry makes more money than films and television put together. If you can get yourself in as a concept designer in, I don't know, a production company like Naughty Dog or Rockstar Games, and you can make a lot of money designing characters, landscapes, doing things that you're passionate about and interested in. Ultimately, it's worth noting that art as a creative subject has such a wide scope. So you can really take it however you want. You can manipulate all of your projects and especially as you build up into A level, you can really design your projects around your other interests and bring them all into play. So even if it isn't an art based career that you're going into, you can still very much use art to develop your overall skill set. So you're having the head start above other people when it comes to getting into a university course. Many teachers like myself will initially get into small projects which link to some of those areas like architecture and animation. But ultimately, it's going to be your ideas that you bring into play in your projects which will get you the highest marks. So if you're going for a level nine at GCC or an A star at A level, the examiner's wanting you to be the one directly pushing your ideas through to a completed outcome. So there you are. Before I go, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of those excellent, talented students who I've had the pleasure of teaching and whose excellent work I've been able to show you today. I hope they've been a bit of inspiration to you. And do consider taking art for GCC and A-level. Like I said, it could take you in loads of different directions and possibilities are endless. My name's Alex Stutchbury, goodbye.